lapping of bars in an RCC column. So this could be a question in the exam, like explain lapping of bars in RCC column. So the first point is that the reinforcement bars come in fixed lengths of 12 meter length. Hence, when placing reinforcement in RCC members, the reinforcement needs to be overlapped with each other. So this gives you the reason why overlapping is required because the 12 meter length bars to be continued further need to be overlapped with each other. There are certain rules to be followed when we are doing this lapping of the reinforcement which are given below. So the first rule is that the lapping must be done in the central length of the column in zone B as has been shown in the figure. The reason for this is that if the column is acted upon by a lateral load, the moments created by this force are maximum at the top and bottom of the column and hence lapping should be avoided in these zones. So the figure is explaining what it means that if this is the total length of the column and if we divide it into four parts then the upper one fourth and the lower one fourth of the length is called as zone A and the middle half L or one half of the column length is called as a zone B. So as far as possible the lapping should be done in zone B that is the central part of the length of the column because the reason for that is shown below that if you consider the column to be acted upon by a horizontal load like this that is a lateral load then the moments created are maximum at this point and this point and zero at the central point. So since we are lapping the steel we are creating a sort of weakness in the steel. So the lapping should be not in the place where there is maximum moment but it should be in the place where there is zero moment. Next is regarding the lapping of the bars. So the lap length of the bar should be 50 times diameter of the bar. The upper bar should be bent that is joggled as shown in the figure so that the top and bottom bars remain in the same vertical line. So as you can see this is the bar which is coming from the top and it has been given a slope like this and then it has been overlapped over the bar which is at the bottom. This lapping which has been done is 50 times the diameter of the bar and the slope that is given is maintained at 1 is to 6. Another point to note is that the lapping should be done on the inside face of the column to maintain the necessary cover to the reinforcement. So what it means is that if you consider this to be the outer face of the column, the overlap should not be on the outer side but should be on the inside as has been shown so that the cover to the reinforcement is maintained throughout. Next point is that the lapping must be done in such a way that all the laps do not come in the same line but are staggered as shown in the figure. So as you will see that within the zone B the lapping which has been done is also not in the same line but it is staggered. So the figure at the bottom shows that all the lapping is done in one single line. So this should be avoided and the staggering should be done for the lapping. There are different methods of lapping the bars which are shown in the figure. So the first method is called as joggling. This method is used for bars which are smaller in diameter and less than 30 mm diameter. The second method is by use of couplers. In this method a coupler which is a cylinder with threading on the inside is used. The bars are also threaded at the ends and joined with the coupler. This method is used for large diameter bars that is 
bars with diameter of about 30 mm as it is very difficult to create a joggle by bending the bars which are of greater diameter. Next method is that you can weld the bars to each other as has been shown in this figure. This is one of the good methods but it is practically a little bit difficult to do on the side. If the bars have to be overlapped without a joggle or without a coupler, when joggling is not possible, the bars are lapped side by side in this case. But then they are provided with a 6 mm diameter spiral reinforcement wound around the lap as been shown. So you will see that there is a spiral reinforcement uh, provided, 6 mm diameter reinforcement provided in the lapping area to strengthen the bar in this location. At the bottom here, a cross section through the coupler has been shown. As you can see that the reinforcement bar has been threaded at both ends and the central part which is the coupler has got threading on the inside. Next point is that providing closely spaced length in the zone of lapping. So you are aware that the column requires horizontal reinforcement which are called as links. So these links are to be provided closely spaced in the zone where the lapping is to be done. The lapping zone, there is a joint in the reinforcement which creates a weakness, hence the str to strengthen the reinforcement, the links in the column are closely spaced in this zone as shown in the figure. So that should be uh, enough for answering this question of lapping of bars in column reinforcement. Thank you.